All right, here's a video how you can make some movements for your hands or arms or pretty much any prop. Here I'm just using it for skeleton hands and uh, it's pretty easy to do. So you're using the synchronous motors, uh, doesn't matter how many RPMs you do, depends on how fast you want it to run. Um, we use these little um, attachments um, that I got on Amazon that goes on top of the motors. Here is some of the galvanized tape, uh, tap tape, tab tape. And uh, I drilled a third or a fourth hole in there. So this is where we're gonna be putting the um, arm linkage uh, rod thing to, uh, to get the movements. Um, and then, so here I use number sixes or number four screws and you will attach it uh, with the tab tape and the, um, the attachment there. But you wanna do it before you put it on the motor because it won't really fit very well. So these are the screws that I use. Now I use a different size screws for the other one because I couldn't find uh, my other screws. My desk is always a mess. I'm, I'm very disorganized. So now you want to use these. These come with those little um, attachments for the motors. These things are a pain in the butt to put in. They suck. But anyways, you attach it on there and uh, you just attach them using those. There's a, there's a hole and you put it up against where it links into with the motor. Just tighten it pretty good and it won't come off. So that's how you build the mechanism. And now we're gonna put on this little, um, this bar linkage thing. I don't know, they're for RC cars. I don't, I don't know what they're called. Um, but you use a number four screw for that because um, it will fit right through it. And then what you're gonna wanna do is put on some, um, that's the screw, is you wanna put on some washers. And I even put some nuts on it just because you want a distance. Um, you want it a little bit higher than the rest of the screws you have on top of the attachment that you put on so when it rotates it won't catch it you want it higher than the screws that you screwed on that little tab tape to and then i'm using a number four um, nylon insert uh one of those little nuts and those things ugh, pain but that way it'll keep it into place Now, once you have it on there, rotate it around. Just make sure it's not catching the top of the other screws. If there is, you add more washers to it to give it the height. So this is a little mechanism I built. I screwed the motor into the boards. Um, I aligned them up so um, it could attach on there. So all I did is I have that single board on the top by one screw to give it a rocking motion. I had to put a bunch of nuts and washers on it to get the height but here you go it kind of makes a teeter-totter movement and that's how you get your movements there
and that's where you want if there's if it's hitting the other uh, screws you want to put more washers onto it because you want it kind of flush so it can move back and forth all right thanks for watching and i will have a link of all the items that i use to make this